Hey everyone, JJ here from Grow with JJ. Today I'm going to show you how to set up and optimize calendar inside Go High Level to streamline your bookings and automate your appointment. By the end of this video, you will know how to create and customize calendars, set up and availability and reminders, embed calendars on your websites or funnels or in forms, automate follow-ups for booked appointments. So let's dive in. So first of all, what are calendars and why we need calendars? So calendars in Go High Level allow you to manage appointments, consultations, and meeting with ease. They integrate directly with your CRM automations and workflows, so you never miss a um, booking. And now, who can benefit? Who can benefit from the Go High Level calendars? So the agency owner, coaching and consultants, local businesses sales team freelancer like me or you so we can benefit from the go high level calendars so now let's create a new calendar inside go high level so first of all you need to go to your agency you need to select the business settings let me go back so you need to come to the settings you can go to the calendars so there is the first way you can come to the calendars like this or on the agency uh, on the sub account view you just have to go to the calendars here and then there is on the top calendar settings so you need to cl click on the calendar settings so now there is the button like uh, you can create a group here to organize it or you can uh, create a, a new calendar from here you can select the calendar single users calendar for individual bookings round robin calendar for teams rotates bookings and group calendars for the webinars group sessions or classes so now let's dive into create the round robin calendar so yeah so here you see the calendar name i can just type the calendar name here uh booking webinar booking i'm creating the round robin calendar you need to select the team member here team three or also let's add this team member too now the custom url you have to put the name the of your website or you can just add any slogan here grow with jj 111 so this is not taken so now you need to set the calendar name and description here make it clear for the users and the meeting duration availability setting choose your business hours and buffer time or the auto confirm appointment for the manual booking so that's the calendar is created let me bring my photo here my video now let me click on the close so this one is the calendar that i've just created now i'm going to edit that calendar you you can upload the logo from here then you can just select the logo from here then the calendar name you can adjust the calendar name there is the widget shape you can do the circle or a square and then there is the there will the description if the description here for example like this there is the description here so you can see that that's the description will pop up there then the group if you have created the group then it's going to show you the drop down that you you can select the group and you can add this calendar inside that group area now the availability there is the two team members here team three you can set up the zoom you can set the google meet if the google meet is, is connected then it's going to show you here the google meet if someone is going to book an appointment on this calendar the calendar will automatically send them the meeting link for example this google meet you have the phone name, uh, phone, full address, Microsoft team, or if you are having any custom link, you can just put the link here. Then for the Ali Aftab, then there, there are the option, I want to add the Google Meet Meets for the Ali Aftab too here. Then you can select the color from here and choose a color for this booking event. Color get, get you know that from where the appointment is coming from. So I'm going to use this red color or a purple. Just click on the save and it will take you to the next step. So you have to select the availability here. 
choose the business hours and the meeting interval here let me add the 30 minutes interval so set the meeting duration 15 30 60 minute slots so for now i'm going to use the meeting duration as 60 minute that should be one hour or you can just select the one hour like this one hour meeting interval that is the 30 minimum schedule notice i want to add one day before the meeting the date range you can select the date range uh, the date range will be looks like this if you are going to add the 14 date range 14 days then only it gonna show you the 14 days for example 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 and two more dates and that's it and otherwise if you are not selecting that then if you are not adding the date range then it will be going to show you the all the dates even if you are in the 2026 okay so that is the benefit for the date range so the people can choose between the given date so then there is a maximum booking slot maximum booking per user pre buffer time if you are going to use the pre buffer time post buffer time i don't want to use it and you can you have also option date specific hours if you want to add the specific hours time here now there is the form select a form you can attach a form to the calendar to collect lead details you can also add the custom fields like company name yeah, for example any additional question inside the form and you can embed the form here so these are the forms that are coming from the forms area which i already created which i did so you can just choose the form from here and if someone is going to book an appointment then they will be going to fill out the form on the second step so then there there are the payment options yeah if you want to take the payment from this calendar you can just click on the accept payment the stripe is not connected with this one so that's why it is not i don't i don't have an option to turn it on if i connected the stripe or any payment method then i can turn on this feature okay so there are the, some of the notifications and additional options you can use these one otherwise i will be going to do this through the workflows i will do to i will be going to create a new workflow i will set up a trigger which create new workflow and the trigger will be appointment schedule and then there the, there will be another actions so for example email confirmation i will be going to send them also the booking details there should be another i will be going to add the sms reminder that will be help to reduce no shows with text alert i will be going to set the google calendar sync and also there will be another option another option that i can add the follow up sequence so to send them the reminders before and after these are the connection reserve your google i don't want to add the reserve with google then we have some customized options let me edit that calendar again and go to the customization you can play around with the colors the, there are the primary colors you can choose the primary color there is the background color you can just change the background by just dragging and drop the cursor and you can actually change the color from there the form so yeah the fields will be now changed you have two option new and also the classic option for the calendar and then if you are having any custom css for example this form this calendar is created with the help of custom coding like the css so you if you are having a css you can just put the code here and you can customize the calendar accordingly to the branding colors to the company requirement now let me hit on save so for example there are the i have created the calendar here here you can create a group here then there is the service menu rooms equipment the, there are the preferences on the top you can set up the preferences like which preferences you are going to use for the calendar there is the availability you can set up the availability and also the connections here like which connection you are going to use like the google 
zoom for the video conference and yeah that's it you can just play around with this and you can actually select all of the options okay so now as you see all of the actions here you now i'm going to the automation where i can use the recipe start select with the recipe to send them the follow-up sequence to send them the reminders and also send them the confirmation email that they have booked an appointment so that is the recipe that i'm using for booking an appointment just click on the select all you need you just have to select the calendar here so this is a pre-built recipe i'm going to add the calendar here appointment status is confirmed and in calendar now i just want to select the calendar which is the webinar click on the save if someone is going to book an appointment then the system is going to send the email and there is the 24 24 hours wait another email one hour wait another email sms five minute wait five minutes reminder five minutes sms you can also add the tag here so we can know we want to know that from where the lead is coming from so the lead is coming from the webinar calendar if we are having so many multiples calendar then this will be helpful for us to understand that from where the lead source is coming from from which calendar the webinar is added the webinar and also i'm going to add the opportunity and i want to move that lead to the real estate to the call schedule so this one is the demo pipeline and the demo stage if someone is going to book an appointment this is the trigger and these are the actions if someone is going to book an appointment the system will add that into this pipeline to the to to the call schedule stage and then let me move it at the top move and yeah move it here the system is going to move the stage into the call schedule then there is the tag and all of these these automation and yeah that's how you can create the calendar inside go high level if you find this helpful smash the like button subscribe and drop your questions in the comment